Hello everyone, my name is Mahendra Mahay. I manage a project at the British Library called British Library Labs or BL Labs. It was set up six years ago and its primary focus is to get people to experiment with our National Library's digital collections and data. Over the last six years, we've supported over 175 projects, working with researchers, artists, entrepreneurs, educators, and even British Library staff who are doing innovative things with our digital collections and data. We've often done this through competitions, awards, and projects. And finally, through our work, we've been trying to build a global community of galleries, libraries, archives, and museums, or GLAMs, uh, Glam Labs, we're, tr we're trying to build a community to share our experiences, knowledge and expertise with everyone. So first of all, what is a digital Glam Lab? I would define it as a space in a gallery, library, archive or museum, which encourages experimentation and innovation. This can often be online or on site, and particularly focusing on that institution's digitised and born digital collections and data. These labs need enthusiastic people to run them. We often characterize them as labbers. These people have an open approach and they like to encourage experimentation and trying new things out. They like to take risks and often they have to overcome some barriers within their institutions in order to affect some change. We sometimes characterize this as formalized disobedience. They're often the change makers and very much focusing on digital transformation. Their work is really important in terms of the future development of the organization. So their work needs to be trusted. And often uh, when there are successes, their work can be contagious. And often the attitude of a labber can spread to others. So we encourage people working in organizations to seek out their inner labber. Glam Labs address the following challenges. Often it's about the return on investment that the organization has made in digitizing and capturing its born digital data. The big question is, all this investment has been made, how are these collections actually being used? What value and impact are they providing to the wider society? Um, especially when there's a focus for that institution to try to open these collections for everyone. Of course, Labs also address the question of what collections, or digital collections, that institution actually has that can be used for by people either openly or on site. And then the next question is really about how you go about telling other people about them online and physically. Do you need to go to them? Do you need to put them on other platforms? They won't necessarily come to you. Also, it's about addressing how institutions should be supporting users who want modern access to that institution's digital collections and they want to do things like experiment with them either manually or computationally. So questions like are the institutions providing the right level of access? Are they providing appropriate discovery tools and layers for their collections? Are they providing the right advice, guidance, technical support and training? Are they providing the right services, tools and processes? Often people who want to look at these collections want to explore the feel, shape and look for patterns or even needles in haystacks in these collections. Often they want to use computational methods. So Glam Labs are often found within collaborations with universities or digital scholarship funds or digital humanities area. There's a circular value that Glam Labs can provide because the experiments that people do, looking at finding and exploring can and, and also helping to ex augment discovery in mess, messy cultural heritage data means that their work can mean that they can put that data back within the organization. There are challenges, of course, with this because there is often not, um, there isn't computational access to do this. Finally, labs look at trying to discover, celebrate old culture and, and provide and promote research and to remix it to create new culture for inspiration and joy and to make these collections relevant to everyone. Finally, I'd like to talk about the International Glam Labs community that we've been developing and an open Glam Lab handbook that we've developed. More information can be found at our website here. 
We have over 250 members. You can download a book that we've created, which is a handbook on how to set up, run, maintain, and ensure a lab thrives. You can add yourself to the member map, join our Slack channel. We have a WhatsApp group. We have regular Zoom meetings. And then there's even an email list. And you can follow us on, on Glam Lab, Glam underscore labs. And we have several events coming up very soon. Finally, I'd like to congratulate you on opening your lab and welcoming you to the Glam Labs family. I understand the lab is collaboration with a national and university library in Zagreb. This is going to have a dual function of providing 3D printing facilities and other technologies for students, as well as encouraging experimentation with the digital library of NSK and its digital collections and data. Good luck, everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful day.